For thousands of years, there has always been a rumor about Eve having a love affair with Satan and that Cain wasn't Adam's son. I found the stories, so let's get into it. Lilith, Lucifer, and Samael, Satan, had a plan to show God that Adam and Eve, humanity, mankind, was not worthy. And they thought that it would be a great idea, instead of attacking God on a physical level, to do it on a spiritual and emotional level. And how better to do so than having the fall of man? Their plan succeeded as Adam and Eve gave into temptation and ate the fruit cutting them off from a singular thought process and experiencing all sorts of emotion all at once, the first and strongest being shame, for they now saw that they were naked. It was at this point that Adam and Eve, for their disobedience, were cast out of Eden. Once they left Eden, they were trying to figure out where to go. Where could it be safe? Adam and Eve are cast out of Eden, there is kind of a worry because she doesn't know where shelter is. They need to find food and everything else to live. So Eve decides to pray to God. While she is praying to God, Satan, in disguise of an angel, appears before her. She was full of fear for the curse of mortality that was going to be also upon her children now. She was also aware that her children would have limited powers now. So this is when Satan, in response, would seduce her with the promise of a child bet between the union of a heavenly being like him and her, the indomitable human spirit. He promised that this child would lead their descendants to a future where all the descendants of this being would reign over earth as gods. Are these the sons of Cain that came afterwards? Let's see. He promised her this child that would produce descendants that would carry the legacy and blood of heaven within. And when Satan and Eve made love together, they produced Cain. Cain was the son of Satan. And now this gives a sense to the demonic bloodline we hear so much about. 